We're here in Parachute, Colorado with John Lyons and uh, we're here to talk about engagement. So I'm going to hand it over to you, John, and you're going to tell us what engagement <laughs> means to you. What engagement means? Let's think of a transmission on a car or truck. En engage is to put it in gear, to actually change what is happening, go from neutral to, to a gear. So that would be engagement. Engagement would mean to actually create energy or a movement forward or in a direction. Equitopia consulted several experts in equine biomechanics who defined engagement as core muscle activation to promote optimal dynamic stability. In other words, stability in movement. As horse people, we think more about engagement is always forward. In fact, in dressage, it's forward, 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 forward. And really, in most disciplines, uh, in understanding engagement, even when we're backing the horse up, it should be engaged as if it was going forward. Well, that means in gear. That means an energy source going the direction we want it to go. It's actually developing control that's usable control that you can have whenever you want, both on the hindquarters and on the front end. What's in it for the horse? What is the benefit to the horse to have him engage his whole body. Well, again, the horse naturally comes to us with, with more weight on his front feet than on his back feet. And then we as riders, as we climb on them, we're, we actually even overload naturally the, the front feet. Well, the front legs, that's where you get tendon damage, you know, and, and problems. So by teaching the horse to shift his weight back to his hindquarters, then we're taking that weight off of those front feet, even if we're trail riding, if we're any type of performance work, to help the horse live a longer, uh, healthier life. We teach him to suck in his stomach, raise his back, strengthen his back muscles, and then we help him by bringing his, his back legs underneath his belly to help support his belly and go up, rather than leaving him out here so far behind him. Preacher right now is standing natural. Natural is the best place that he can see with his eyes is with his head at this angle. So this is where he wants to hold his head and what is natural is this is the fat part of his neck and this is the skinny part. He's got 60% of his weight or more on his front end with his feet almost back by his tail. Here this is the high part of the horse as far as his back is concerned. We have his slump going down in here. We have uh, his withers uh, down lower than his rump. So his, his feet are this far apart, naturally. We want to change this semi-truck into a sports car. We want him to use these big muscles right here to take some of this weight off of the front legs. So we want to shift this weight to the back end so that the front feet are light and they can move quickly where we want them to move. We want the withers to go up we want the back to come up that much and for him to use these two long muscles in his back. And then what we want is we want his hindquarters to go down and we want the, the back feet to come way up here. So in collection, that's what we're trying to do. That would be the perfect picture for a canter pirouette, a slide and stop, for a horse traveling in a collected manner. So true engagement happens in motion. Here, John and Preacher are going to statically demonstrate the muscles used in engagement, with the exception of the fact that in motion, the neck is lengthened. Preacher's gonna demonstrate that for you. A little bit more. Hindquarters down a little bit more, all right. A little bit more. Good. It's like a bodybuilder. We're asking him to flex every muscle that he's got on him. Uh, his back, look how far his back has come up. That isn't a natural thing for him to do. He really has to work at it. It takes a lot of muscle. So in starting a young horse, I wouldn't ask him to hold it that position or even come close to using that much of his muscle at one time. But you know, I can slowly 
build him into that. Well, what a, a horse feels like when he's engaged. The first thing is he feels level. Uh, he feels level from right to left. And again, it's not natural for a horse to do that. It's natural if the horse turns to the left, is lean to the left. Natural if he turns to the right, to lean to the right. And we feel like as riders that it's our fault that the, you know, that maybe we're putting too much weight in one stirrup or too much weight in the other stirrup. And so it's a, it's a rider problem. So we're constantly trying to straighten up our saddle. Well, the problem is what is natural for the horse is for when he goes to the right, he leans right, goes left, leans left. And so what we want to teach him to do is stand up straight. And then engagement, that's where we feel the front end starting to lighten because we're bringing the hindquarters underneath the horse. You should feel the shoulders be straight, the hindquarters go down, feel that. Whoa. And the front end come up. Then the third thing, it, 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 what it feels like is you've got a string right in the top of your hat. And, and in the center of the saddle, you feel your, your body being lifted up. Key is to know there's always a better way to do something. I know there's a better way. I don't know it, but I know there's a better way. And as horse people, what we should always do is to continue to strive to find that better way. Even if it, uh, you have a method that works for you 100% of the time, there's still a better way to do it. Keep searching, keep looking. Now you have a job. Yeah. Your job is to stand perfectly still, okay? Oh, no. <laughs> you yeah. don't move. No matter okay. what he does, you don't, you move. don't move. Okay. All right? All right. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> what a good, good boy. boy.